Hello, good morning. My name's Ken Knight. I'm from Princess Brokerage International. We're here on the Hamble uh, on a slightly crisp morning to have a look at the V40 Christina V. Uh, this is a 2021 model uh, of the popular and well understood V40 uh, and I'd like to show you around so let's go and have a look. So here as we step onto the transom of uh, Christina V uh, we've got these teak laid swim platform, the teak follows through into the cockpit, gives a really nice feel on this boat. We've got the high-low platform on this boat, so at the push of a button we can lower this swim platform when we're stationary. Um, we can either put a tender on there um, or just use it to gain easy access to the water if we want to enjoy it when it's a little bit warmer, unlike today. What we have got on this boat though is a very popular option um, which works well for a number of clients which is the aft sun pad. So we've got it set out as a sun pad, it allows people to uh, be lying here and really lounge and enjoy this space whilst underway, very sociable arrangement but if we don't want to use it in that configuration um, and we want to sit around the table we can easily push this headrest aft um, which increases the seating area and then we can unfold the table here so then if we want to enjoy some food and use the boat that way, then we can as well. So on the starboard side, we've got our outside galley unit. This consists of a sink, a nice grill unit. We've got a top loading fridge as well, which is pretty cavernous for drinks. As we move forward, we've got our uh, pilot station on the starboard side. Got a pilot seat, co-pilot seat. Nice comfortable seats with large bolsters, so you can use them like a leaning post if you want. With the roof here, it's a very big roof on this boat, it opens right up, so it gives you a huge aperture when it's a nice sunny day to really open the boat up and get the best of both worlds. Um, you've got a window as well, so we can equally can open that up on a nice day, or if it's inclement, we can close it down, and just use the, the window for communicating with crew. At the dashboard here, it's a very straightforward layout. We've got sort of everything that we need and nothing that we don't. We've got a joystick system on this boat. Uh, I must admit, it's very comfortable the way it's on this shelf here. The arm just is naturally supported. And if you're not familiar with driving a boat of this size, it makes it very easy for, uh, for parking and docking the boat, easy to crab the boat sideways, very intuitive to use uh, at low speed, and can just take some of the stress out of that berthing scenario. We've also got our traditional throttles, um, centre-weighted uh, steering wheel here which is rake adjustable so we can easily um, get, get a nice comfortable position for driving. We've got a large 12 inch Raymarine Axiom screen uh, so it's a hybrid touch which has got AIS on as well so if you're used to an iPad or anything similar it's very intuitive to use with all your key information on there. We've got a bow thruster on this boat so in addition to the the joystick with controlling the two engines, the D6 is at the back, we've got a bow thruster, we just need to tweak the bow, and then we've got an autopilot, our instruments for our engine displays, uh, and then we've got uh, just a small bank of buttons here, mainly controlling lighting on the boat, we've also got one for the, the roof that we just touched on, courtesy lights, uh, and, the, and windscreen wipers, and the different lights that we've got on board. We've also got control for the um, search light, and then we've got a couple of overrides as well with our trim tabs and VHF nestled down the right hand side here. So like I say, a very sort of ergonomic dashboard. Um, it's been built on previous models, it's tried and tested and kind of gives you the, the key items that you're after. Let's go and have a look down below and uh, explore a little bit further. We've just come down into this lower uh, saloon area. We've got our galley, which is on the starboard side here. Really good size fridge, sink, um, microwave grill, two burner induction uh, hob, 
Um, so it's kind of everything you need to really enjoy your time away for a nice weekend or a week or longer on board. Storage squeezed into actually absolutely everywhere. Princes are very good at that. So into the sole board here, this has actually got an upgraded uh, solid wood floor. And then we've got lots of light coming into the boat, which is really nice. On this modern V40, we've got what we call knife windows, run the full length of the boat, very modern styling, bang up to date. But what that does result in is lots of light coming in, but it's very controllable, blinds on all the windows. So if you want some privacy, maybe you're in a marina in the evening and you want a little bit more privacy, it's very controllable. This lower area as well, we've got TV. Um, we've got a nice area for our drinks cabinet with glasses and table opposite. This table is actually also collapsible as well, so it's on a telescopic leg, so we can drop that down. Maybe if you want a larger lounging area, or if you want to accommodate extra people on board as well, we can do. Let's go forward and have a look into the uh, master cabin, which is forward. So here we are in the master cabin, forward on this boat. Nice double island, center island berth. Um, easy access out both sides. Lovely headboard on this boat with uh, lots of detailing. So we've got lights either side for reading in bed. Um, and then just the amount of light we get in, into the boat is great. So double hatch uh, in the center there, which can easily be screened off. And then the blinds both sides as well. Just some nice detailing as we get in all the princesses. Um, just a little cubby hole here, which is just really well thought out. Nice and easy for putting things in. We've got double sockets for charging phones, um, phone points as well, full height wardrobe for hanging, just considered as you'd expect. And then we've got the heads, which is on the starboard side here. It's a Jack and Jill arrangement, um, so we can get direct access in this master cabin or for the second cabin or, or day use, there's access from that lower saloon area, separate shower area, just well thought out and considered. Um, let's go and have a look at the second cabin as well. So here we are in the second cabin. A lot of the time on boats, you know, the second cabin can be a bit of a compromise, but it really isn't on this V40. I know I keep talking about the amount of light that you get in, but you really do are bathed in light in these boats. Big apertures, and uh, it's all the better for it in these cabins. Lots of storage, comfortable settee, full-size hanging locker as well. And then with this boat, it's got twin berths, but they has got the optional extra, so you can join those together to make a double. Just gives you that much more flexibility. If you've got a couple on board, you can use it as a double, obviously. Maybe if you've got children, then you can use it as two twins. So very nice cabin um, with a good amount of space. I think what we'll do is we'll head up on deck and uh, find a little bit of winter sunshine and uh, finish things up. So here we are just rounding off on uh, Christina V, the V40 2021. She's a very nice example. She's got some interesting options on this boat as well. Current owners uh, added four deck uh, cushions on the sunbeds on the bow. The original owner put a water maker on as well. So she's got some interesting bits over and above the options that we've explored today. Um, she's a 2021 model uh, and offers uh, quite a significant saving over a new example and is also available straight away. If you'd like more information on this boat to see a 3D tour, a full set of photos uh, and importantly the price, please do look at our website which is www.princess.co.uk. I uh, do hope you've enjoyed our tour today.